Hello my YouTube friends! Today's video is sponsored by Envato Playsit, but I'll tell you more about that in a bit. There is a really cool new OBS plugin that makes it easy to create and control soundboards on your live streams for free. I'll show you how to set it up and use it today and talk a little bit about its limitations, which aren't really that bad. So you know what? Let's get to it! The first thing we're gonna need to do is download and install the soundboard plugin into OBS. It's pretty easy and of course it's totally free. The links are in the description. The link in the description will take you to this page up in the top right hand corner. You're gonna just wanna click go to download and it brings up this page. You just select the download that you want. You can see there are some for different operating systems and we're going to use the one for Windows 64. Now you can select the zip file or the install file and we're gonna to select the install file and then we'll just go in and double click it and we'll click more info and run anyway and this will bring up this install right here we click next and you just want to make sure that this is actually the proper directory for your OBS you can see mine is on an e drive but yours is probably in C program files backslash OBS dash studio so just make sure that your OBS file is actually where it's installing to and then you can click next and then it'll ask to confirm that's the folder and and of course it is, then click next and install and boom. Our soundboard package is now installed and ready to run. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of assets that can help you with your YouTube channel art and live streaming and video assets. Now my logo was done in Placeit and so was my YouTube banner. Placeit allows you to choose from thousands of designs and then you can change everything about those designs from the color palettes to the text fonts. This gives you an infinite number of possibilities to design your logos, your banners, and nearly anything else you can imagine for your channel or your live streams. So please click the link in the description and check out Envato Place It for yourself. If you have the means, supporting the sponsors that support this channel is a great way to help me keep making content that helps you. So thanks. YouTube's algorithm needs a little bit of love in order for this video to find a wider audience. So please take a second down below and let me know what you think of the video and how I'm doing. And while you're there, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It's totally free and it really does help me out. So thanks. Now let's get back into it. The install is all done. So let's set this up in OBS. Here in OBS, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and click docs. Then we're going to add the soundboard doc and it takes a couple seconds there it is and now we just need to struggle to get this docked over in one of the panels wherever you want it to sometimes it takes a while to get it to dock the first time but once you get it to actually dock the first time then you can kind of move it around wherever you want it seems like the easiest place to get it to dock is up at the top of the screen once I get it to dock at the top of the screen I can move it over here to the left and that's good so this is what it looks like now all we need to do is go ahead and click this little plus down here in the bottom left hand corner and we're gonna go ahead and name the sound that we're going to add and we're gonna browse to the file and we're going to find the file that we wanna add and there we go. And now we can just click the button, it will play that sound and we can adjust the audio volume and we can right click on the button and adjust the audio here as well. We can turn our audio monitoring on or off or set it up however we want it to and even set the sync offset. We can also select which audio track we want this to play on if we're recording or something like that. And so all that's really left is for us to just click plus and add in all the rest of our audio sounds. And once you have them all set up, you can click this little gear down here and you can lock the volume. You can go to advanced features and set the volume for all of the clips. And you can actually go in here and create filters that you want on all your soundboard items. Now this is the one flaw to the soundboard that I really found. And that is that when you set the volume or anything else for one clip, you're setting it for all the clips. And that's a little bit of a bummer because it means that if you have one clip that's really loud, you have to adjust the volume down. It's going to make all the other clips really quiet. And the only way to really get around this is to put these in some sort of editing software and make sure that you 
level all the volumes for each of them so that when you put them in here, you're okay with whatever the volume is that's set. But that's a small price to pay for a really cool free plugin that you can just click the buttons on. You don't have to add this to every single scene. Once you add it in and you have the soundboard right over here on the left hand side, anytime that you click one of those buttons, it's going to play that clip. It doesn't matter what scene you're in. And that makes this an incredibly usable and fun tool to add a lot more interaction and fun to your live streams. Now that is some awesome stuff. If you want to see how to separate audio in your live streams, you should definitely check this video out. Big thanks to the sponsors that support this channel. You'll find their links in the description below under the heading sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.